Greetings. This will be a tutorial on BDMS and how to import your documents. First, open up Internet Explorer and put the location of where BDMS is located. And in this instance is located in Test. Click on Show All Content. Run. And go ahead and type in your username and password here. Once inside, the two BDMS buttons are located at the top. One is to display a document and the other is to add. If this is your first time logging into the test instance, you need to sync your BDMS password so you can do that by clicking any, any one of these icons. If, like I said, if that was your first time logging in, then you'll get a message saying that thank you know thank you for syncing your password. If not, it will open up another window and take you directly into BDMS or Web Extender. It will take you here to this screen and tell you that no documents are found. And that is simply because I'm located in BGID. Defaultly, BDMS lets everyone into the system under BGID. So depending on your access, you'll click on the application list, which I just did. And this is where you will be able to see what access you have to each file cabinet, if you will. So because I'm an administrator, I'm able to view all of the applications within the application list but depending on your settings you may only see one or maybe two so when you're getting ready to import your documents there's two ways you can do this you can either click on this icon that says batch import or you can go to file and batch import the good thing about this system is that by scrolling your mouse over any of the icons it will tell you exactly what it does so there's no need to try to memorize everything so when importing your document just choose your option either click on the icon or click on file and batch import and once here you have to give your batch a name so your department should have identified how it wants to name its batches if not you may need to see your manager but you want to make sure that when you're importing your documents that you're importing them into the right application or file cabinet if you will so BGID if I'm in the financial aid office I need to click on BR Trek or an admissions BS admin just depending on your department or purchasing BF docs that's how you choose your application list so I'm just gonna choose BGIG which is the general folder and I'm just gonna name this tutorial. Click on next and you should get this screen. Now if this is your first time into BDMS in order to view everything properly you need to go to help and then check install components and you need to make sure all of these have been installed if you do not have administrative rights however you will not be able to install these things so you should contact the help desk and they should be able to assist you once on this screen you also have two options you can either go to the open book new page and choose your option here on how you want to import your document or if you're just going to scan a document go to scan the scanner setup here click on the drop down select your scanner 
which I always choose the last option WIA and whatever your scanner name is press OK then you want to go to source and make sure this is feeding the way you want to if you have a scanner like I do where you can set documents on top and they're all one-sided documents choose ADF simplex but if you have you know double-sided documents then choose the ADF duplex or if you're just going to scan one document at a time on the flatbed choose your flatbed once you've done that also make sure it's on auto feed unless you want to manually feed every page that's going into your scanner so now that I have that set up I can click on scan because I want to use my scanner but like I said you could also go to the open book and choose that So we're going to scan a test document from my scanner. Once your document has been scanned, it will show here. The main thing that you need to check for here is if it's readable. If everything looks okay to you, then I would say it's okay. But make sure that you're thinking of more than just yourself when you're looking to see if the document is readable. So this first bar is your image toolbar all of these will help you display it, rotate your document, zoom in, zoom out, magnify. This is your image toolbar. The bottom toolbar is this is your annotation toolbar. So if you need to make any notes on your document, draw, erase, any redactions, any of that information, you can do that here. When you get ready to index, however, go here and click on new. The great thing about this system is that it's linked to Banner. So I chose BGID, so it's looking for an ID number or the Banner ID number. If you have that, and you will need that, that is your primary key. It will pre-fill everything else from there. Since we're just doing the test, I'm just going to click on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. As you can see, it pre-filled a PITM of 0 last name me, first name delete, and then from there I can choose my document type which there's nothing available so we'll just leave that blank. I could type in the social security number but if this was a true ID number it would have pre-filled that and the birth date and then from there I can just save. 